I can't even lie to you guys. I really don't remember a lot of the endings to this right now, so this should be a good time. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with another episode of the series where we react to the openings and endings of the shows we have done. If you guys don't know or are new here, I did just finish Haikyuu on the channel a few days ago. Go check that out if you guys like Haikyuu and want to see me react to it. One of my favorite shows of all time. One of my favorite sports. I'm not even into sports like that and I loved it so much. Love the characters, love the moments, love everything. This isn't going to be the longest video, but I'm just going to be reacting to the endings here. I've already seen them. I'm going to be re-watching them and then talking about them a little bit as I insert my reactions throughout. So hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below and let me know what other open openings or endings or shows anything you want me to react to don't forget to follow me on the social medias instagram twitch and twitter at dapper darius i appreciate y'all and tiktok too tiktok yes 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 let's hop into this all high q endings one through seven new ending gotta watch it for the first time i literally got tears coming out of my eyes guys i'm trying not to cry i'm literally trying to hold it in i'm like suck my eyes are sucking them back in I know I'm just repeating the same thing that I've always said when it comes to endings, especially new ones that I haven't seen, but I love how artistically simple they are. I would love an opening like this. Just watching Kageyama and Hinata just doing these slight little drills. No real animation needed. Like, I haven't even seen Hinata. This is all Kageyama. Oh, he gets hit in the head. I wonder if it's symbolic for he always trains alone he's always alone until he met his duo oh and i love the animation change back to that ah with a smile all right ending two i was not expecting that at all i have not like i said watched that in so long but i really like how it started and ended it was definitely especially if the first ending was kage or was he not the base this one was 100 percent kageyama focused i love how it starts off very artistically simple and it transitions into Kageyama doing his practices with it still being simple in areas like with the background just being completely white and stuff like that. And it's go him going through like a lot of what you'd go through from practice. You know, you, you, you're trying to overcome those obstacles. You're trying to get better, but it is a hump. It is a hurdle, you know, like he's, he's struggling a little bit. He's going through it and then he gets hit in the head with the ball. And I could tell that's Hinata or at the very least someone else on his team. He turns around all angrily because he's frustrated from his practicing, but then he lightens up as it goes into that simple artistic style again. Uh, just the, the little details are just so nice. You know, the song, again, good. It wasn't my favorite, but another just fantastic ending. I love the art styles. I love how original and artistic you can be during endings. Like openings are very, I want to say sometimes can be very unique, sometimes can be very by the books, whereas endings can be very, very unique, and I love them for it. Damn. I can't wait to see more of Yamaguchi and uh, Tsukushima. I like how they're adding more players onto our little running thing in this ending. And it's adding them in the order in which we met them. Yamaguchi, Tsukushima, and then, you know, we got uh, Nishinoya, and then Asahi, all the, I mean, it was Sugawara and all them first, but come on, I like this. And all these new players we got. Ooh, don't recognize him. Why have his name written down? No, is it Ushiwaka? I gotta look that up. Because now he's gonna be a big player in this. Okay, ending three. I gotta say the song also was, was pretty good. It wasn't my favorite, but visually, I think this one was probably my favorite by far. Like this one, I really like the symbolicness in this one. It starts off with Hinata and Kageyama being frustrated at their loss to Alba Josai, obviously, and then it shows them running and trying to train. And then it shows the frustration of other people's characters like Tsukushima, Yamaguchi, they join in. And then it shows everyone and how motivated everyone is and then everyone joins in. And then Hinata takes the lead, runs up like the mountain of a uh, dumpster of garbage and leaps man-made flying up to the air to grab that crow feather like it's literally karasuno as a t and with his whole team behind him on that dumpster f oh it's it's just beautiful perfect I, I like that ending a lot there hasn't been a bad one yet there hasn't been a single bad opening or ending in high q like man these guys got a track record but again another good ending oh new ending gotta watch that too
Ooh, that was us last time. Oh, wow. I love the flashback. I love the different art style of us getting shit on. That's crazy. I love the the comic book like dots, the you know, the manga style. This is low key super unique. I love the like the polka dots and like like texture on a lot of different things, you know? Showing all the teams with the colors. Everything's black and white but the colors of the teams. Oh, this is fire. And then it goes back to normal at the end. That was dope. That, that opening is animated beautifully, but that's so animated uniquely. I love it, you know? All right, that ending, I, again, love the art style. It, it literally seemed like it was animated straight out of a manga panel. It was, I said panel, out of a manga panel. And I love how, even though it was black and white, the only thing colored were all the uniforms that we saw all the teams that were going to the inter highs and, and training for this. And it's just, it's just crazy, you know? Uh, <laughs> It wasn't even focused on really one. It was, oh, it was so good. And then it got out of that manga style at the very end when it was Oikawa versus Hinata and Kageyama. The rematch that we needed since season one, the ending. Uh, ending four, I believe this was. Super good. I liked it as well. I still think the last one was my favorite so far, ending three. But uh, I really like aesthetically. I really like the artistic style of this one a lot. Oh, that is a good, uh, good first episode into this. Let's hear this ending. Ooh, we got Shira Torizawa, Date Kogio. You got a uh, fucking Takeru's team. And then you have the party team, uh, Josenji. Oh, uh, Wak Wakutani for Takeru's team. This is gonna go through all the teams we had to beat to get here. Oh no, that's fucking Fukuradani. That's my boy Bokuto. Nekoma. <laughs> Look at Nekomata up there. <laughs> of course, goats. Alba Josai. Then it goes over to the vice principal and we get to see every our boys. Why is uh, Tanaka on the floor like a dog like that? Interesting. <laughs> Look at old man Ukai up there. He nods on the front. I love how simple that is. You can't beat that. It's just a pan it's just one big panning shot of all the amazing artwork of all the teams. You can't beat that. So simple. So I think I have to take it back. I think this is my favorite ending. I love First off, first off, there's like no animation. There's some layers that are slightly moving compared to the other ones, but the entirety of this ending is one long panoramic photo or art painting, whatever, whatever you want a drawing. And might I just say, I would pay exorbitant prices for an art piece of equal length, that's super long, of all the teams on there. That was just so dope. I love the song. This is probably the first song ending that I said I love. It's a... Uh, gave me huge um what's the song by bruno mars the lazy song today i don't feel like doing anything gave me huge lazy song vibes love the artistic style i love how simple it is it's just our character you could see so many of the characters personalities and what they were doing on their poses in that art though that's what i loved about it the details like bokuto was just going crazy ushijima was just focused sternly on running you know it's just uh, so good love that one Oh, ending five, I, oh, that was right. Oh, that was a good one. That was a good one. All right, first time watching the ending. Let's do it. Beautiful Kyoko. Sun always shines on her. Amazing Yachi. Other fantastic art. Ooh, even more amazing Takada. Pulling all the background strings, amazing. Is it gonna show Ukai next? Is this all the background players of the team? Ooh, yup. Yeah. It makes more than just the players to make this team work, you know? Seiko, my wife. Neighborhood Association, my fucking boys. I got the whole squad. I love this team. That was a fantastic first episode. So this ending was fantastic, but not for the reasons you're probably thinking. The song and the visuals were great, don't get me wrong, but my biggest compliment about this ending is that it pays it, it pays respects to the underrated people who make the team. Like, this team is a team because of everyone. Like, yes, it would not be who they are without Kageyama Hinata, but I love that this ending focuses on Takeda, Ukai, Yachi, Kyoko, the Neighborhood Association, Seiko. 
like so many different variables and elements make up this team and make them who they are like we would not literally if you think about it Hinata and Kageyama wouldn't have had their practice if it weren't for Seiko Yamaguchi wouldn't have had those fire serves if it weren't for the guys in the neighborhood association Yachi it was so clutch in the beginning of season two Kyoko wouldn't even beat Takeda Uka you know like these guys or what make the team but don't make it's like i'm so glad they got some appreciation and respect in this ending because they damn deserve it what all right let's watch this ending while i'm so hyped my first time watching it was that the tv store where hinata got inspired by the little giant we got like a little boxed in view what's going on Oh, he's watching it on his phone. That's dope. And we still got white. Oh, it's them watching it on their phone. Go Shiki, Shirabu, uh, Hyakuzawa. My fucking dude. They're watching Nationals at home. That's cool. Yahaba, right? Kentaro in the background. Kendaichi, Kunimi. Yep, everyone who's failed to get to Nationals. Shows them maybe training for next year, doing what they need to in the background. Hell yeah. Date Kogio. The girls team, the vice principal, Michi Mia. Ooh, the crows and the cats, the dumpster squad. I see it right now. Yep, that was the TV store he not to got inspired. That was I like that opening or that ending a lot. I won't lie. All right, I will say though, in terms of this ending, ending seven, that this is easily the most like nostalgia running one. Like the fact that. One, I just, I I felt like I heard this last week when I fucking ended the show, but the fact that it starts with the, with the TV where Hinata literally first got inspired by the little giant and then it's showing a lot of our characters like Hyakuzawa, Goshiki, a lot of our characters watching the nationals and where we are at after all we've been through. And then it, you know, has a little flashback of the moment that they lost and their heartbreak and stuff like that. It's just such an emotional ending this one is and showing... Oh man, it's showing literally all the work that we've done to come to where we're at and all the relationships, the people we've affected along the way. It's been like, this is the one that makes you be like, damn, we've been on uh, cause I think we've been on an 85 episode. I'm pretty sure Haikyuu is 85 episodes so far. We've been on an 85 episode journey and it's been a fantastic one. That's what this ending really cements to me. You know, like it's like, God damn. We hooked you, didn't we? And we're like, yes, you did. Yes, you did, Q. Overall, fantastic endings. I think my favorite is number five. I guess season three has to be my favorite of Q then. Because uh, Hikari Are is my favorite opening. And ending five is my favorite ending. And I love season three. Fucking Ushijima. I think it has to be confirmed. Season three is my favorite season of Q. just based off that. Love this show to death. Love you guys to death. Thank you so much for enjoying this. If you guys did, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you want me to react to down below. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.